I put on moisturizer already and I'm gonna go in with some um, SPF. This is the Kula Sport SPF 50. Um, I really like this one, it's like really lightweight and it doesn't leave that weird white cast on your skin. I'll just show you. Okay, but see how that doesn't leave like a white cast, it just makes you look glowy and healthy. Um, so I really like that. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, like conceal. Um, hold on. Oh, okay, that's better. So I haven't been doing foundation lately. I've never really liked how it felt. Um, I just used to do it, I guess, just because that's what everybody did. But lately I've just been concealing and then blending it out because I've just been really into this whole like French kind of Parisian makeup look, I guess is what I'll call it. Um, this is the MAC, this like glass part is broken. This is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer and it does have SPF 35, which is good. And this is shade NC42. And I just take this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M173 and it's just kind of fluffy and but dense still. So I just like rub that around in here and then I'll conceal my little blemishes. I've been using um, benzoyl peroxide for the past like two days and y'all my skin has cleared up so much and I also watched this video from this dermatologist that said that benzoyl peroxide is the only acne treatment that doesn't um, that your skin doesn't form res a resistance to which basically means that you can use it for forever and your skin won't become resistant so that's really cool um so i'm not going to fully cover these with this concealer i'm gonna go in with another one i just like using this one um as like the first product <laughs> um but then i like to go in with this Born This Way nat Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer from Too Faced. And this one, so the MAC one is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And this one is like basically my skin tone. So I just use this to um, like further cover up. And I just use this Sephora brush. It's just like a flat brush and I just pack that on my face. My mirror is all dirty. But I still want my skin to peek through. I don't want to completely cover up. I just want to um, I just want to conceal just a little bit. But I know I've been gone from YouTube for a long time. Uh, and I've been wanting to post more. I just don't have that much time. So, yeah, I had a little bit of time today. Okay, so getting close, I can still kind of see that. And so for my like work, um, I model for this boutique, so I don't really want that to show really. So I'm gonna do some more of this and like dot it on that spot. And I'll go right there. And a little bit more right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that just soak in and dry a little bit. Cause when you let your concealer dry a little, um, it gives you more coverage. 
So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm going to use that same concealer again with that same Morphe brush and just swirl it around. And this time I'm going to conceal a little bit under my eyes. I don't really want it to go super bright. I just want to conceal it a little bit. Um, like I'm not trying to like overly highlight or anything like that. And I'm gonna take some of my eyelids and then I'm just gonna blend it out. Like so. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's it. And then I'm gonna set with some powder. So this is the Laura Mercier, but I mixed some of my Makeup Revolution banana powder in here. Um, because I don't like the, I don't like the um, opening of the Makeup Revolution one. So, okay, one second, please. Okay, anyways. Um, so I'm gonna take, actually, this brush. I like to take this one for my powder. And there's actually already some in this lid, so I'm just gonna do, do, do. It's kind of a lot. Okay. And I'm just gonna sit. I like to tap under my eye first. Same thing. And now I'm just gonna blend this out with that same powder brush that I used. And I think that's much better. And then I'm gonna powder here. And just lightly dust everywhere else. Okay. So now that we're done with that, I think I'm gonna, I don't really have like a routine. I just kind of do my makeup like how I feel that day. Um, but I'm gonna do my eyebrows because they look kind of crazy right now. And for my brows, I use um, this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that I got like forever ago. It's kind of dirty. And this is the L'Oreal. It's kind of like the Wonder Brow. The like name has rubbed off now. But it's basically like a dupe for the Wonder Brow product. So I'm just gonna go in with that. And what I do is I get some on the applicator and then I just do, 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 do. And then rub it off on there. And then I'm just going to lightly fill in my eyebrows just on like the bald spots and then I'm gonna brush it out. Because I don't want my eyebrows to look too perfect because I just haven't been into that look lately of just like the perfect like sculpted brows. That's just not really my thing anymore. So I'm just filling them in on the bald spots.
And I know the Wonder Brow is like super, super um, waterproof. This one isn't, but it's still pretty good. Brows are done. And now I'm going to go back into the face. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Powder Bronzer in the shade Mahogany. Looks like this. And this is another Morphe brush. This was in their um, face kit. Um, and again, I'm not trying to look super sculpted. I just want to bring some life back into my face. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And then I just, this brush is kind of pointed. Um, so I'm just going to go like this. And then I really just want to like diffuse it out. I don't want there to be a super sharp line or anything and then same thing on my forehead and I'm just tapping like that looks a lot darker on camera, but it's not. I'm just tapping like super lightly into the powder because this stuff is really um, uh, pigmented. I'm gonna blend that out a little. And I also like to just dip in just a little bit, like super slightly and then go under my lip. Because it makes your lip look more pouty. Okay. Now for blush, I'm going to use this Bare Minerals um, Bounce and Blur blush this is the shade mauve sunrise and i think this shade is so pretty and it is like one of those like bouncy ones and i like to use this on my lips a little bit and then i'll take this this is another sephora brush Bailey's mom actually got me a set of brushes for Christmas, like the first year we dated, and this was in that same set. So anyways, I'll just swirl around like that. All this blush is so pretty, just look. And I like to just kind of take it everywhere. So pretty, oh my gosh. I love this blush. I was kind of skeptical of it because I'm not a big fan of powder blushes just because I feel like they like move around and they um, are gone by the end of the day. But this one is kind of like a creamy, cream to powder kind of. Um, and I really like it. And then I'm just going to go like this and go on my nose. I love that look. And then um, with that same bronzer that I used earlier, I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Um, and go on my eyes, just kind of like all over. And 
And then I'm kind of gonna take some on the lower lashes. I probably just made like a super crazy face. Um, whoa. So now I'm gonna do mascara. And my favorite mascara is the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. I just think it's so good. And I'm gonna use this mirror again. Okay, and now I'm gonna finish my um, lips. Or I'm gonna start my lips, I guess. This is the NYX lip liner in brown. And um, I'm just gonna, oh, this is broken. I'm just gonna line my lips like super light. And I'm gonna diffuse it out with my finger. And I'm gonna take that blush again. And I'm gonna put it on my lips. Just to kind of like tie in the whole look. And that's really all I've been doing for my makeup lately. Just super natural. Oh, I gotta put on a little bit of highlight. Just like a little bit, just a little. Um, I really like, I've had this highlighter for years and it's all broken up. This is the Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey. But you can see it's like all broken. But again, I don't want to go overboard with it. I just want to give a little bit of a glow. And with this highlighter, you can go overboard. Ooh. So yeah. Okay. That is the finished makeup look. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.